Hey everyone, Steven from Straight Fire Picks. We got best bets for Major League Baseball on Thursday, June 9th, 2022. We're going to have MLB run lines, player props, over-unders, money lines here for you today. We're going to have three picks, and I think are great value bets for this Thursday Major League Baseball slate. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support here on the channel. If you're new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Reminder here at the channel, guys, that we are partnered with Price Picks, so be sure to use our code SFP for 100% deposit match and your first deposit up to $100 on Price Picks. You can also use one of our links that we have down below in the comment section and in the description. Really, is a great app, guys. They specialize in player props and things of that nature. They're a lot of fun to use. Put multiple picks into an entry to win a lot of money. Highly encourage you to check that out. Like I said, use our code SFP or one of our links that we have down below for that 100% deposit match. Be sure to also check out our community Discord page as well. It's a great place to connect with our community and to get new ideas for bets. We'll also have a link down in the comment section and in the description for that. Be sure to also drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section. If you like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. And we'll include your pick in the video if it hits. Okay, now a quick shout out to our Straight Fire MVPs. So as always, guys, you see this beautiful list of all of our Straight Fire MVPs here running beside me. If you're interested in becoming a Straight Fire MVP, there is a join button down below. We'll also have a link in the comment section and in the description for that. It's just $3.99 per month to get a badge next to your name, some custom emojis, uh, custom roll color in our Discord, and shout outs in our video. Um, and it really is just a great way to support the channel and what we do here at the channel. So appreciate you all, all of our Straight Fire MVPs. I do appreciate all the support. I really do. Um, yeah, so let's dive right into the results from the previous episode. Uh, so, didn't have any calls from our Comet Cappers that hit, I don't believe, uh, that I saw anyway. As far as the stream results, we went 1-2. and two. We were able to cash the Trey Turner over 1.5 bases. He clutched up for us uh, late in the game, actually in the ninth inning. Uh, but he was able to hit on that. We missed on the Yankees' one, minus 1.5 run line. Uh, Nestor Cortez had his worst start that he's had in, I can't even remember, definitely of the season. Uh, going back to last year, though, even, I mean... You can't predict that, guys. Nestor Cortez has been so good all year, and this is the one time where he decided not to bring his A game, uh, and the Yankees in general just didn't. Um, and then we also missed on the Nerfy in the Seattle Mariners-Houston Astros game. Got right down to two outs in the bottom of the first. Uh, you know, I thought we were going to get it, and like I said, the pitcher I wasn't worried about, Logan Gilbert of the Mariners, has been so good all season. Um Gives up a single there to Jordan Alvarez, and Altuve comes in from third. And he shouldn't have even been on third of the first place. He walked, wild pitch. It's just like they got one hit and one run. One single and one run. So that's very depressing to lose like that. But what can you do? We're going to get back after today, though, guys. We're going to get this 3-0. So let's get right into our picks here. And number one, we are going with the Los Angeles Dodgers money line here versus the Chicago White Sox at minus 116 odds. So, guys, we got Tyler Anderson here going to the mound for the Los Angeles Dodgers, who, believe it or not, is actually 7-0 with a 2.59 ERA. He's been absolutely phenomenal this season. He's got a .95 whip, and he's only walked six batters all season in 55.2 innings pitch. So he's been absolutely, you know, phenomenal. Uh, going up against Dylan Cease here of the White Sox, who is 4-2 with a 3.39 ERA. He's got a 1.29 whip. With 30 walks on the season. So he's had a major problem here lately walking batters. I believe he walked seven in his last game. So um, not the lineup you want to face if you're going to be walking batters. Dodgers lead the league in walks at 224 uh, for the season. They're very disciplined at the plate and they lead the league in runs. And that's a big reason why. So Dylan Cease is not in the strike zone. Dodgers are going to be taking those pitches. You can bet your money on that. Um, and I think this is, you know, in, in that regard, this is a really bad matchup for Dylan Cease because he has not been very consistent at hitting the strike zone uh, this season. So, um, and obviously, you know, anytime you can get about even money on the Dodgers, I think you should look into it right away without even any information. But the numbers do support us here today. The White Sox 27th in Major League Baseball in runs. And obviously still no Tim Anderson today, and that's huge. Um, that's really huge here for the White Sox. If they had Tim Anderson, actually, I, you know, I'd be a little bit more hesitant to take this. But with no Tim Anderson, this White Sox lineup certainly doesn't scare me. Now, the one thing that the White Sox have in this spot, they are actually hitting 
276 off of lefties this season. They're hitting, they hit lefties very well. Um, and Tyler Anderson, obviously, a left-handed uh, pitcher here. So uh, that's the one thing where the White Sox have a little bit of an edge. Uh, but outside of that, you know, Dodgers have that dom- dominated across the board. Dodgers ninth in bullpen ERA. White Sox 20th in bullpen ERA. It's a big edge there. Dodgers have also won seven of the last ten matchups here with the White Sox. They're 19 and 10 on the road. They're a terrific road team. White Sox just 12 and 14 at home this season. So uh, we saw last night Dodgers won four to one. Um, so obviously they got it done pretty easily last night as well. And I think you know here more of a day game. I could see this Dodgers lineup uh, honestly um, breaking out for more runs in a game like this, especially against the pitcher where, like I said, he walks a lot of batters, and that's really the big thing with him. Um, he, and can't have a more disciplined team right now in the Dodgers. So, do love it there, guys, for our number one pick. We're going Los Angeles Dodgers money line here versus the Chicago White Sox at minus 116 odds. Okay, and at number two, we're going with Ron Acuna. Over one and a half total bases here for the Atlanta Braves at minus 101 odds. So, best odds here on Caesars for this bet as of right now. So, Acuna here, guys, heating up. He's five out of his last seven to this line, hitting 423 in June. We love to see that. Sending 326 at home and 316 off of righties, which is the matchup he has today with the right hander JT Brubaker. 0 and 5 with a 4.70 ERA, 1.45 whip on the season. He's allowed 51 hits and 51.2 innings pitched. It's a lot about a hit per inning. So, um, obviously, he gives up a lot of hits. He's got a pretty high whip. Um, I think Acuna could definitely get to him. Uh, Brubaker's also allowed eight home runs and 11 starts on the season. And we all know Acuna can go deep, especially from that leadoff spot. So, um, I love the fact that he's just now starting to heat up. You know, I, I think he's starting to finally return to that really dominant form that he was starting to get into last year before he got hurt. Um, I think we're starting to see that Ron Acuna again. Um, so, really excited about it, actually. Uh, I think he could cash his bet in the first at bat very easily. Uh, he's... Brubaker, rather, is allowing a 267 batting average to righties as well. So he hasn't pitched well to righties. Um, and then when you get back into the bullpen, Pirates 19th in bullpen here, right? They don't have a great bullpen. Um, in his career, though, Acuna 0 with 3 versus Brubaker. So not a large sample size. He is 0 for 3, though, versus Brubaker in his career. But like I said, I don't really take a lot from that. We cashed our bases bet yesterday with similar uh, statistics on Trey Turner versus um, Cueto. It was 1 for 6. He ended up going 2 for 4. Um, in that game and got a hit right in the first inning. So not too worried about that. And like I said, I love the fact that Acuna is riding a hot streak. Let's roll it there, guys, for our number two pick. Ron Acuna over one and a half bases here for the Atlanta Braves at minus 101 odds. Okay, and finally at number three, we are rolling with the over eight runs in the Colorado Rockies San Francisco Giants game at minus 110 odds. So guys, the last 14 meetings, this over is 9, 1, and 4 to this line. So they hit 8 four times. Uh, but overall, when these two teams get together, they have been scoring runs. Now, a lot of those games were in Colorado, so you do got to consider that as well. Uh, but I do like the splits that we have here in San Francisco as well. Uh, we got Logan Webb here going to the mound, who is a big name. You know, a lot of people are like, yeah, Logan Webb, great pitcher. And he's been pretty solid, but he has not been as dominant this year. He's 5-1 and one with a 3.82 ERA, 1.17 whip. Honestly, those numbers kind of high for him. He's allowing a 280 batting average at home. Uh, so when home starts, he is actually allowing a pretty high batting average. He's got a 4.09 ERA in day games and a 4.47 ERA lifetime versus the Colorado Rockies as well. So, I do think the Rockies could put up enough runs to make this worth our while. Um, you can also rock with the Giants team total over, though, as well. And you're going to like, you know, when I t- talk to you about Austin Gobert, the pitcher on the Rockies side, I just don't understand how he's making another start. Austin Gobert here, guys, 2-6, and six, 6.54 ERA on the season with a 1.47 whip. He's been absolutely terrible this season. His last two starts, he's allowed nine runs and eight runs. If he does that, we automatically cash the bet right there. That's why I said he probably could rock with the Giants team total as well, over four and a half. I don't prefer taking um, home team team totals, uh, you know, at four and a half. I, I, it's not a preference of mine. 
Uh, but I definitely think you could take it. I definitely think that's a solid bet. There's a little bit of juice on that right now at minus 128 odds for that over four and a half. Uh, but I like the equity of the Rockies being able to score just three runs here. I think they can get that done. I really do. Um, but here, finishing my thoughts here on Gombert. He's 0-4 with a 10.90 ERA versus the San Francisco Giants. All those games he started in San Francisco. So, obviously, that's very notable. That's where this game's going to be played. 10.90 ERA. He has not had a good start there. If you look at his log. It's been absolutely terrible. For the season, uh, these teams offensively, Giants are third in runs, and the Rockies are eighth in total runs. Uh, I'd like to see that. Now, of course, we know the deal with the Rockies, though. we got to understand this completely. Uh, Rockies um, don't score as much on the road. They score a lot more at home. I think they're actually third worst in runs on the road. Uh, but I think here with the matchup with Webb, I think they can put up at least a few in this series to make it worth our while. Um, they have a couple of big bats in that lineup that could certainly get it done. As far as our bullpens go, Giants are 25th in bullpen ERA. Rockies 28th in bullpen ERA. So both bullpens are terrible too. That's why I like the complete game over. Um, so really do love it, guys. A lot of great numbers for this one. Uh, again, this is another semi-early start. I believe like 3.30 or so. But do love it there, guys, for our number three pick. We're going with the over eight runs in the Colorado Rockies-San Francisco Giants game at minus 110 odds. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for our picks. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Really do appreciate all of your guys' support at the channel. Sorry this video is coming out so late. We're still doing pretty good in Major League Baseball. We're still 20-9 and nine over our last 29 picks in Major League Baseball. Um, you know, we've obviously cooled off a little bit uh, over the last day or two. But we're going to get back on track and get this 3-0 and today. I uh, really want to sweep the slate today. Uh, but... Let me know what you guys are playing down below. Check out all of our social media links. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, I put out uh, updates and stuff like that uh, about when I'm releasing videos. Sorry again, this video is so late, uh, but better late than never, right? Um, I appreciate y'all. Hope y'all have a great rest of your day. We will catch you back here next time. Peace out.